Lake Taupo, New Zealand's largest lake, seems placid and picturesque, yet it sits on one of the world's most violent volcanoes. The shores of the lake are the sunken edge of a gigantic volcanic crater known as a caldera. The first volcanic explosion occurred here around 300,000 years ago, but the present lake was largely shaped by two huge eruptions. The first, which created the 30 kilometre wide depression at the northern end of the lake, occurred about 26,000 years ago. This was the largest volcanic explosion on Earth in the last 70,000 years. During this huge eruption, over a thousand cubic kilometres of pumice and ash was thrown into the air, covering much of the central North Island in a layer 200 metres deep. The eruption ejected a thousand times the volcanic ash thrown up by the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption in the United States. The clear layer of white ash the eruption deposited can still be seen today as far east as the Chatham Islands over 700 kilometres away. After this massive eruption, the new lake formed at Taupo gradually filled with water, then broke in a huge flood. For thousands of years, the waters of Lake Taupo flowed into the Hauraki Gulf near Thames before cutting a new course to the Tasman Sea on the other side of the North Island. The latest Taupo eruption occurred around 200 AD, about a thousand years before humans first settled here. A huge plume of dust and gas was propelled 50 kilometres into the stratosphere. The effects were recorded in China and Rome, where red sunsets were noted. The explosion emptied the lake and covered 20,000 square kilometres of land with ash. Layers of this ash can still be seen on road cutting south of Topol. The explosion was followed by a flow of super hot lava and ash along the ground at speeds of up to 100 kilometres an hour. The flow climbed Mount Tongariro and the Kaimanawa Mountains over 1,500 metres high in minutes. Sometimes lava oozes from a volcano slowly and piles up to form a steep-sided dome. Mount Tohara, just outside the Topo Township, is one of these domes, made from rhyolite lava. Though the Topo volcano has erupted over 20 times since the big eruption 26,000 years ago, it has not erupted since humans settled here. But though Māori may not have witnessed Topo's volcanic activity, they were wary of a tanifa, or water monster, they believed resided in the lake. According to Māori stories, Horo Mātangi is a tanifa who lives in a cave on the western side of Motu Taiko, the only island in Lake Taupo. The island was used by local Māori as a refuge during war and as a burial ground. Because of its sacred status, Māori always approached the island with deference. Anyone who trespassed in Horomātangi's territory without showing proper respect would have to survive the squalls the Tanifa could summon. Horomātangi's two stone dogs are also said to haunt Lake Taupo and can create strong winds to capsize anyone who unwittingly calls out to them. Apparently, Horomātangi sometimes moved about the lake disguised as a large log. Māori took care to treat any logs in the lake with respect, unlike the early American missionary Seymour Mill Spencer. In 1843, Spencer decided that he would demonstrate the power of Christianity by taming the Tanifa. He brought a log found floating off Motu Taiko, ashore, and used it as part of a church he built. Horo Mātangi seems to have prevailed, as those who worked on the church suffered misfortunes and the church building eventually collapsed. <laughs>